All right, hello. How's everyone doing? I'm doing a painting in this video. It's been a while since I've done a painting video. I'm doing a painting of various fate jewel features all clumped together into a square. Well, it's not a square actually, is it? It's a, all maths, can I remember? Qua, the mother Q, quadrilateral. Oh yeah, that's right. I know my maths. And also if you're thinking, why was that piece of paper looking so shiny? It's because it isn't paper, it's because it's acetate. Because I'm being all fancy and I'm painting on a sheet of plastic. Uh, the reason for painting on acetate was because I wanted to layer three sheets together and paint each section on a different sheet. Because I wanted the painting to be like a jigsaw and you had to put all the sheets together to complete it. A very easy jigsaw <laughs> with three pieces, but still I thought it was a cool concept. This painting is for my A-level art book. Basically, in A-level art, you have to do two projects. This is the first project, which is 60% of my grade. And a couple of days ago, how many days ago to be precise? Three days ago, I handed in everything to finish the project. This project is now done. I feel like this giant weight has just been lifted off my shoulder. Shoulder? <laughs> Shoulders. I do indeed have two shoulders. Uh, and if you'd like to see my final piece, da -da 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 -da, here it is. I don't know, I'm pretty proud of it. It did take me so long. It was like a solid month of my life, fully dedicated to painting that. But hey, I think it paid off. And if you would like to get a better look at the painting, you're only gonna have to go follow me on Instagram. Just did you do it? That's the name. Hey up, ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat because my dad has just walked into the room. Nah, come on, say something. Say something nice. Yeah, say something. Like what? Get close to the mic. I don't know, just say hello. Hello. That was my dad. Wow. Are you going to edit all the rubbish out? I don't know, maybe. Alright, I'll all go right. downstairs now. He's going to go downstairs now, okay, cool. See y'all. <laughs> Bye. Bye. My dad. What a legend. <laughs> right, I'm doing this painting in acrylics, and oh my goodness, I have not painted in acrylics in quite a while. I've just been mainly using oil paints, and I cannot believe how quickly acrylics dry. Because obviously oil paints, they can take weeks and months to dry. So coming back to acrylics, oh my god, it was so annoying. I would mix the colour, paint with it for literally two minutes, and then go back to it. Oh my goodness, it's dry. The amount of times I had to remix the same colour, I must have wasted so much paint. And that's also the reason why the painting is quite blocky. Really, I'd like it to be a little bit more blended. Not super blended, because I do like the blocky look. Um, but maybe just a few more areas where it is blended but because it was acrylic it was just drying way too quickly and then that combined with the fact that it was on acetate um, when I did try to blend the paint would just start flaking off oh, so I was having some right traumas with this painting and also please don't judge me on this nose it is by far not the best nose I've painted I was under some tight time constraints I'm pretty sure the day after I did this painting I had to hand everything in for my project so yeah cut me some slack all right when I first started this, I did actually want it to be a lot bigger. I had plans of painting an ear as well, like an ear and a bit of the cheek and a bit of the hair as well. Because I didn't really have a lot of time, I ended up, um, well you'll see in a bit, I do, I paint just this pink triangle. But I'm kind of glad that I didn't have time to do that because I think it does look quite nice just as a small, smaller painting with the three sections. And I like the shape of it, how it all comes together to make quite a clean shape. So yeah, I'm kind of glad about that. And you might have noticed throughout this video that I'm scraping parts of my painting off because I had this idea of painting on the opposite side of the acetate a bunch of different colours so that when I flipped it over to the painting side and then scraped the paint off you would see the colours underneath which I thought, hey, I was so proud of myself when I came up with that idea. I felt so smart and I, I'm re I really do like the way that looks especially on the eye section where there's that big yellow, um, not yellow, orange stripe across the sort of eyelid area. I thought that one looked really good. Um, and also sorry about how disgusting my nails look. They are freakishly long and don't worry I did cut them after this. <laughs> they are now a reasonable length. And here I am putting all the sheets of acetate together. It's like a little jigsaw all coming together to make a final picture. Ah, how beautiful. Although it's by far not the best nose I've ever painted, I'm really happy with how this looks. So yeah, job well done if you ask me. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.